Jojo has fun. It's a cute game. Yeah. Let's shall we return? Shall we? Return? Shall we? Greetings, children. Welcome to the. Mm. Oh no, that one's wearing close. <laughs> I got the apartment gate key, so that's good. He's like, I'm the one who wears the pants. What happened to this guy? Hang on. I think that was a lady. Was Mar- it not? Mardi Gras. It looks like someone uh, ate it or punched it. I mean, someone did some donuts. Yeah, did some donuts with that body. Oh, can I open this? No. No. It's just a freestanding garage. They really did a good job making it. Oh! Oh, (laughs) (laughs) That's the Oh, man. That was not cool. (laughs) Whoa. That's the first scary thing that's happened today. That was pretty (laughs) spoopy. (laughs) And we've been playing games for like two and a half hours now. Well, I got spooked playing Alien. Oh, spoiler. We're playing Alien this week, and no one copy strike us on Alien. Yep. Don't worry about it. I say that knowing that someone will. No, we're not. Um, I got a health drink. Is that like Yoruba? Unless it's Yoruba. Unless someone's being a buzz kill, I guess. A killer of buzz? Yeah. There's always there's always that one. I remember when I like put up a photo of like an X ray of my hip because I had to go and get it checked out on Facebook. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then somebody I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to brace myself for a lot of things. Go on. <laughs> so like it's it's an outline and it kind of shows like the outline of my butt, but it's like an x-ray. It doesn't look like a person's naked body or anything. But it looks like, well, I yeah. mean, maybe to you. Yeah. But I mean, I, I put it on there and it was like my bone. I was just like, here is, oh, things behind you. It is really chasing me. I was like, here's, you know, my hip because I had to go get a freaking MRI, et cetera, et cetera. And, what happened to you? Um, I was just, it's when I was running a lot more, but I wasn't eating enough. So... So, well, like your body was eating itself to... It just, I was just overworking myself, but like not... Like taking care of myself. Oh, well, why wouldn't you take care of yourself, Jeff? Well, Jojo, it's just a habit. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe go back to episode one, the McRib episode. Oh. It's a lifestyle. Yeah, it's a lifestyle that I choose of being a garbage human being. Interesting. Yeah. Don't garbage in, me. garbage out. Garbage in, garbage out. But yeah, like, and then somebody like flagged it. And it had to be somebody who follows me because my account is freaking private. It's only friends who see so, the stuff. So someone flagged it as what? As inappropriate. Like porn? Yeah, like nudity. Maybe bones scare them. That's true. Or maybe they were just jealous of my butt. Ossophobia. Yes, Jeff. They were jealous. <laughs> they were like, that is of all that too jelly. great. I remember having a, I went to like first day of JC one year. Like it was like a new semester or something. Junior college. Yeah, junior college. And uh, this guy I, well, who was a friend, but like we hadn't talked for a while. I saw him on the first day and he was just like, hey, dude, what's going on? I'm just right. And then he looked at me. He looked like around me he's just like your ass is huge <laughs> and i was like i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry what i didn't know we were there thanks was, dude I, yeah i'm just like and he's like no i mean like it's good <laughs> you got good ass yeah like, and, and it's it's weird because i'm not i'm like uh well yours looks <laughs> great too yeah no but there was like after that i was just like i got a, I got a good butt yeah, I got a pretty good butt. Rocking this butt. I mean, because a lot of, I don't got a Hank Hill butt. A lot of lot of lot of dudes. They don't oh, got a, flat butt. They don't got a butt. They got a flat butt. Yeah, but not this boy. That's great, Jeff. This boy got butt. Yeah. So if you all, all about to, that butt. Yeah. If you guys wanted to know about me, good butt. <laughs> good job, Jeff. I'm Serving proud of you. I like how butt. I said that, and JoJo looked over, and I think he was trying to catch a glance. I was. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to take a little peek. <laughs> you know, just don't don't stand up for a while. <laughs> I have to draw you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> draw me like one of your Let's Players. Ew. Ew. <laughs> draw ew. me like Ninja. Ew. Draw me like Even ninja. more ew. <laughs> I do not want to think of him in repose. Ninja. So uh, now we're in the apartment. Yeah, this is where Which are scary. Yeah, it's claustrophobic. Yeah. That's how... Because what's closing in on you is your opportunities. You're like, well, I can make this work, I guess. What would be... I'm trying to think of like a concept for a horror game that would be new. That would be new? Because that's the thing is when we were looking up games earlier, so many they're all horror same-y. games, they're all the same. They're either walking simulators that are quote unquote atmospheric mm-hmm. or, um, they're or they're survival horror. Or there's RPG nonsense. Yeah, like the, the pixel ones. Yeah. Like there's very few new types of games because Danielle was talking about having you play the game we live streamed on VR, which was Here They Lie. And I was like, JoJo would hate this game. And I know that's that's what yeah. would make it good. Why would I hate it? It's 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 very, not well designed. It's not well designed. Um, oh, it's, it's just like a bad. It's game. just not, it's just not a good game. Um, and it's like it's these games that go so much for atmosphere, but they're not. You you can have atmosphere, but you still have to make it interesting well, and engaging. The, 
the reason they go for atmosphere is because you have if if you want to s- stories Man, mansplain are, it to me come on stories are scary yeah like a story is a scary thing atmosphere is really easy to do yeah, yeah you add smoke and fog oh there's one and monsters. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm just going home after a hard day's work. Oh, oh whoops. No, don't hit me. Don't <laughs> hit me. Don't like hit me. Don't hit me. No, no, no. Oh. Yeah, he's not doing anything. Why oh. did you? Why? 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 Yeah. Oh. Oh. He's so fine. I know. Please. I've had such a hard day. He doesn't even have hands to hit you with. All he can I do is rub up against hurt you. you. Yeah, well, he'll, no. he'll open his inside. He'll separate like his his inside tummy, Tom, and and. Poop, no, I won't. Poop on me. He'll front poop on me. He's like, I He'll open it. his front butt and poop on me. <laughs> oh, the scariest horror game. <laughs> the front butt. The front butt. I'm trying to think of the actual scariest horror game, and sadly, I would go with games that are jump scary, just because yeah. like you get more, yeah, you get you more reaction, I guess. Yep. But I'm trying to think of like another, like what's a what's a good. What's something that makes me scared? And then I'm like, it's just Outlast. a game. Well, it's just a game where you're like sitting in your apartment and someone knocks at your door, but you weren't expecting anybody. I know, seriously. Or my like, phone rings and I'm just like, I'm not answering this. When I'm like gaming and then someone well, knocks on the door, that's freaking worst jump scare. Oh yeah. Well, we played the game was like Fear Simulator, and that was one of them. Fear Simulator. That one was too abstract with some of its Fear oh, Simulator yeah. stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. It that was, was like quite you chose abstract. a chose a thing, and I it was need, like uh, I need I to think, find like the flashlight. I think. Um, until Dawn is one of my favorite horror games. It's good horror movie horror. Yeah. Well, yes, you're uh, correct. It is uh, Until Dawn. Oh, and Man of Medan. Man of Medan. I really like Man of we Medan. Sh- we should go back to it. That's a really great game. Yeah. And maybe um, this time I won't die. Maybe. That was your guys' fault. I killed I everybody, man. Yeah. yeah, thanks, Jeff. You're welcome. Um, But, like, pe- like, this is, like, the atmospheric horror game. But it has like a story. Mm-hmm. Like, like it's clear what's happening. Most yeah. most horror games that I've played lately are you are a nameless <sighs> yeah. silent guy yep. or girl. Yep. Or hill. Walking around. Uh a spoopy place mm-hmm. where weird oh look at that. Uh, uh you have to go to the abandoned doll factory. Mm-hmm. And it's like Okay. And then stupid. along the way you're gonna pick up scraps of paper that say like vaguely stupid things yeah and there's no like so you remember when we played uh emily wants to play ah yes i will never forget ah so yes that game was great well oh, oh. oh. <laughs> i got an outfit i'm just legs i'm I can't, I can't. i'm just legs <laughs> i'm just legs i can't do anything yeah so this is I was, uh I was gonna... this is a this is a metaphor for how he views uh women, women. yes just legs no head, no brain. I was gonna be a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> not dead yet. I was gonna I nail would it. like to see that. It's not dead yet. Nailed it. Um, there's a yeah, it's dead now because it's bleeding out. Okay, good. Because <laughs> it's bleeding. Out. Um, there's a Silent Hill game that I thought was like such a cool concept, but I never played it, and I don't know if it would work well. And that's the room. The, the room. room was pretty good. So it's, Daniel, it's the Silent Hill four, I think the room that was that's Holly's favorite is Ooh. where you're you're trapped in your apartment. Oh, and you can hear stuff through the walls, and I think you do leave at some point. Yeah, well, you see, it's that's well, that's what makes Silent Hill so cool. Is like they their horror games are like smart. It's yeah. like what, and also like you, it's clear there's a goal. Yeah, it's like what's my goal in Silent Hill for the room? You're yeah. trying to leave your apartment. Yeah. yeah, that's the whole game. All you're doing is trying to leave your apartment, and there's all this stuff that's in the way of that. It's the opposite of real life. Yes. <laughs> And it, you you actually could make an argument that's a game about like being depressed. Yeah, yeah. you can't yep. leave your apartment. Yep, and how hard it is to leave your apartment. Yeah, like there's there's an argument to be made there. And like, like how we just waited. Yeah, yeah. That one was like take your turn. You know, don't want to be unfair. I got two crotches. Got to be sportsmanship. Like this, this game isn't hard. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know that. Yeah, no, it's just I, not a very hard game. I mean, I don't know. It looks like you're really struggling a lot. They're really coming for you. If you can still move it around, it's you. Oh wait, they bled out. Yeah, now it's it, done. it bleeds out the last second. It has two crotches, and it's a lady. Does it have two periods? Well, you know what? As uh, I'm, I'm going to apologize to all of our. <laughs> Our female viewers out there, I'm really sorry for. I'm Jeff sorry that being... Jeff just sees you as a walking period. What? <laughs> he just sees you as a as a walking set of mannequin legs. <laughs> I'm not this guy. Oh, oh there he is. Hi. 
I'm trying to think of like what my monster would be. Like what's what's my <laughs> like how they kind of just lay down for a second. <laughs> They're like, you well, I'm possum. done now. Like, Face down, butt up. That's the way I like to get murdered. What's you're this? a monster, Daniel. I talk like like your what your fears would be as manifested as ah! a monster in Silent Hill. Well, these aren't like he's not like these are like his. Is this is his psyche. This yeah, is what, yeah his, this is what he thinks of things. His flawed psyche. Yeah, that's uh, that's all, all the monsters he fights are like. This is a representation of some part of me. Everything would be related to guilt and shame. Yes, or how yeah, or how he feels about like different people. Yeah. Or, so, or different aspects of himself. What's a guilt monster look like? Hmm. Oh, the the first guys. The first guys who are all like, well, that, well, what, that's like tied up. That's like I'm trapped. I like, can't get out. That's yeah. physically like I'm walking around, but I'm trapped. Yeah, mm. that's a good one. That's okay. that's uh, that's. I that's, got no arms, but then I have a front butt that opens up. <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> damn right you do. <laughs> What's the worst monster? Uh, this one is trapped. His psyche. He, he feels scared. Also, he has a front butt that opens up and poops on you. Oh, God. Oh, sure. wow. Yeah, you know. As it does. As you do. Well, speaking of front butts. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> how you're going to refer to our timer? Yeah. Front <laughs> butt. The front butt? The front butt of the phone. All right. Well, see you guys tomorrow for some more Silent Hill 2. Bye. Bye. Front butt. It's Spooptober.